<clears throat> Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. My name is Hunter and today we're going to be doing something stupid like always. This right here is my main PC and I've owned it for almost two years. Now it didn't look like this when I first got it, it didn't run perfectly like this when I first got it and built it, but it does now. So um, now that it runs fine, we're going to make it look fine. I bought these fans. Because, um, well, there's only one case fan that's in the back, and so we have a lot. We have some exhaust fans, but we don't have any intake fans. All right, so not only did I just get the fans, I also got some other parts. I got the um, Asus Prime H510M-K R2.0. I literally just read that off the box. I don't know a lot. Of, it's basically a nice, brand new motherboard. I have this that I got a long ago, which is the same exact RAM, eight gigs. So I'll be able to top off, so I'll be able to use two RAM sticks and I have a total of 16 gigs of RAM on my PC. I also got this for Christmas just now. Um, it's a 512 gigabyte um, M2, M.2 SSD. So not only is this gonna be faster, but also it's also gonna have more storage. And then we have this uh, Thermaltake Gravity i2 uh, processor fan, which is the original fan I wanted to use in this build, but I didn't have thermal paste at the time. But anyway, let's just get done with all the rambling. I wanna upgrade this shit. Shut that down, all right. Uh, shut down anyway, I don't give a damn if I lose my progress. All right, this should just be able to come out round. Oh, All right, easy, buddy. All right, we got the PC out. This just comes right off because it's not screwed on. So here is the inside of my beloved custom-built PC. And then, yeah, um, cable management. Okay. Yeah, we need to dust this boy out. Okay, let's begin the upgrades. Okay, that's a pretty decent angle. You guys can see that. All right, let's begin taking this thing apart. Come on. God, why is this one that's always the hardest to get out? Come on. There we go. Okay. I don't think it was a good idea to use zip ties for this or, or whatever these things are called. These are called, no way. I think the ones I'm supposed to use are called zip ties. Whatever these are, they're not good to use because they can cause a fire. All right, I'm gonna. This hard drive is loose. What the hell? That's not safe. God, get the fan on in here. It's hot as balls and booty ass. God. Oh, that is a. Fine layer of dust on there. There we go, the motherboard just lifts right out. Oh, there's some dust markings on the thing right here. Let's unbox the motherboard. All right, look at this beautiful thing. So we have things and documents in here. Wait, are these uh, SATA cables maybe? Oh, well yeah, I think these are the SATA cables. Yep. Got two SATA cables. I don't think I need to use the the uh, SATA cable that came from my CD drive anymore. I should probably put that CD drive back in my dad's computer. That's where I got it from. All right, look at this. Look at this thing. This beautiful piece of technology. Is it the same size? Asus. I want to. I want to keep the packaging. Oh, there's more goodies down below. Oh hi. Please don't be a CD. User guide. What am I doing? I don't need to use a guide. All right, our I.O. thing. Actually, let me just pop the... Got our old I.O. shield out, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in the new one right now. All right, what else we got? We got more documentation, which I'm not gonna read, because screw documentation. What is this thing? M2, is an M.2 anchor. Do I, do I need this? So yeah, let's go ahead and pop the new processor on here. Oh, I forgot how heavy a processor is. It's on, it's on. And... How do I... Wait. There we go. I'm keeping this, like they said. There's a box. Where the hell did the box go? The, the box... What the... Am I hot? Where'd the box go? Oh, it's over there. And the motherboard is in there. I'm gonna take in my 8 gigs of RAM now. Make sure it's installed the right way. That did not sound good. 
Okay, I think that's in there now. Yeah, let's put it in the case now. All right, I'm gonna take this old motherboard. And you can kiss my ass. Oh, I did. I should not. I should not have tossed that. I should not have tossed that. Someone needs to kill me now. All right, I'm gonna save the SSD player. We're gonna try to install a case for us. Here we have our Thermaltake LE120 ARGB sink. PC cooling fans, we got three of them. I think two right here, one right there, it's gonna look retarded, but I need some cooling in this, John. Oh wait, hold on, I'm just if I can just like... This knife is so damn sharp. Oh, oh my, I love this. Oh, I, oh, we got screws at least, but I love this. Look what the first thing they gave me is. Cables. Cable management. My ass. And we got more screws. All right, please come back and. Okay, okay. They each come in their own individual box. Oh, wait. I can. I can remove this drive bay. Hold on. I can remove that drive bay. I can remove the CD drive bay. That's why it's not working. There we go. All right then. That. Sucker out of it. Oh, what did I just hit? Oh, let's go Chromebook. Oh, I don't give a damn. Now, we have all the cables in there now. But first of all, I need to figure out how we're going to manage these cables here, okay? Because we need to get all of these connected to the motherboard somehow. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to use them. I'm just plugging in random cables and we're gonna finish the rest of the PC build. Now for the thermal take fan, I'm gonna leave the current thermal paste on there. Well, actually, the first thing I should do is I should get rid of these cables real quick so I can play my graphics card. Our beloved RX 6400. Oh, shit. Got it. Here's our beautiful fan. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. It's got a nice big heat sink, so I'm assuming it'll be fun. Are you shitting me? It was already applied thermal paste. Oh, I was supposed to put this on there, wasn't I? Damn it. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. You've got to be shitting me. You mother... I'm going to have to take this entire goddamn motherboard out. I did not have to take off this motherboard. I could have just... And we're still recording. <sighs> uh, fuck. I have no idea where that went. Okay. I think it's, it's almost in a bootable state. Wait a minute. It is in a bootable state, isn't it? Oh, well, no shit. We need the power supply, of course. Well then. This is the moment of truth here, fellas. We're not getting any power. Uh, maybe that wasn't the right one for. I am so stupid. I didn't even plug it in. I'm God damn it. My lights brightened when I turned that on. Oh my god. Oh, hold on, hold on, we don't have a video signal yet. What if I tried getting video from our integrated, maybe? We have no video. This is not a good sign, this is not a good sign. Wait, is it the damn, is it, it's, oh, hell no, is it the goddamn RAM? This is what, <coughs> this is what prevented it from booting last time. We had a RAM problem, and I'm going to take out the first stick of RAM. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, this is not this is not good, man. This is not good at all. Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. I'll take my keyboard. What if we try to... Maybe it's not booting because I can't find an operating system. Okay, so it's been a few days. Um, this is the uh, setup that I've been using. Um, because my PC isn't working. But I got some new RAM. The RAM, I'm pretty sure is the issue. Let's get some light on this. Battery too low. Fuck. I highly doubt it's going to love what I can follow. Ew, that's disgusting. So let's go ahead and unbox these beautiful sticks of Rip Jaws. Um, got G Skill Rip Jaws 5 DDR4, 2400 megahertz, 16 gigabytes in total, 8 gigabytes to a stick. Core inside, supports Intel Inside Core. Intel Inside Core. 
Never that one. I've never had a part from G skill before, so this is something new for me. All right, I'm gonna keep that for later, I don't know. There's that. I like the design, it's a very nice design. All right, now the ram itself, what is that? Is that a goddamn sticker? We got the space, we'll put a sticker on there. Let's go ahead and slot these in and I'll make sure I do it correctly. I need my flashlight. I think it's in there. Uh, I think it was in there now. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Please. No, 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 no. No. Really? <sighs> All right, um, I got a processor. I think it's an i5, hopefully, maybe. Yep, i5, 11400F, so we are gonna need dedicated graphics for this. I already took out the original Pentium. Take out the processor, very nice and easy. Okay, oh my God, it is super cold. Is my temperature down in here? 70 degrees? 70 degrees, my balls. That's not 70 degrees. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully slot this in there. Okay, it's in there. My heart is starting to race a little bit. Power's on. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, um, what is, what is, what is, that heart, is, uh, what is, uh, what is, <laughs> Do you see my hand shaking? Okay, we we gotta get we gotta get video on this. Fans right there. Um, the graphics card is up my ass somewhere. Um, where is, did I put the graphics card? Oh, it's right there. Let's see if we get any video. All right, power's on. Watch the screen. Oh, I hear the fan. Come on. Oh. Oh. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. What the hell? Please enter setup to recover BIOS setting. New CPU install. Please enter setup. CP fan speed error detected. I mean, the fan isn't plugged in. We'll fix that in a second. Ensure that the CP fan is. Yep, 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 yep. No keyboard. We'll fix that. After setting up Intel 10 memory rate configuration, SATA mode selection must be changed to rate to avoid unknown issues. Okay. Got the beam angles on this. Ooh. That looks sexy. Our CPU fan is currently maxing. You know what? I'm going to shut this off and plug in the fan real quick. I'm going to screw it in as a matter of fact. All right. I'm going to put some thermal paste on the processor because it didn't come with any. All right, that should be a good enough of an amount, I think, I'd say. I don't know. I think I built my PC around this time, two years ago in 2023. Damn. Way to do an anniversary. Let's turn on see what happened. My dumbass forgot to plug in the fan. Wait. Wait a minute. That stayed on longer than usual. Oh, I'm just paranoid, my bad. If it works, it works. There we go. And now we shouldn't get any more errors, although this... Wow, that started up fast. Do we have windows? Wait, hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Does stop? Oh, oh, okay, okay, this is, might be normal. This is probably normal. Asus in search for incredible. Yeah, I'm searching for incredible. All right. I just got an incredible miracle right here for a second there I, I thought it's oh Look at that speed oh, yeah. It's got six cores look at that six cores Logical what the 12 cores what the shit? Hell yeah 16 gigabyte. All right, that's just says team whatever that says that is it capacity Yes, five gigs format it we're going to have to extend it, but hey, it's all right. SSD, okay, it doesn't tell you if it's a, it's an MD, MVME for sure, because I have no other drives in there right now. My beautiful boy. My beautiful boy. It, it's all there. It's all there. Damn. Hey, it was good to use you again as my main, but you got to get the fuck out of here. You know what? Hold on. G skill sticker. Yeah, put that on here. Mm, look at that right there. I can put it on the front because I got the fans to put in here. <sighs> it's 
good to be back. All right, let's go ahead and get the scene reassembled. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a quick test to see. I got this fan in, this fan in, this fan in. I hooked them all up randomly. We're just gonna see what happens. Oh, I didn't turn the power on. Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, well, we don't have lights. Uh, there's video. What's wrong? What, does it mean no keyboard? Well, now we have this light here. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll try to fix that light. All right, so, um, I got the computer completely reassembled and everything, cable managed and everything. However, my motherboard doesn't have the cable to work the RGB, so it's just plain old fans. But hey, I'm not much of an RGB guy, I just, you know, thought it would be nice to have, I guess, but hey, it is what it is. At least I have better cooling now. I do want to set this back up, but I'm going to be getting, me and my sister are going to be swapping desks tomorrow, and it's going to be a much bigger desk, so I might have to rearrange my entire room. But uh, yeah, I'll be able to completely use two monitors. Hmm. So, yeah. I give to you the 2025 PC setup. This looks like shit. All right, as you can see, I got the dual monitor action. The, I can't speak English. I got the dual monitor action going. All right, I got my main monitor, the uh, Scepter J20 monitor that I got for Christmas this year. It's way better than the uh. 1280 by 1024 with 60 hertz on that one. We got the booty ass um Amazon webcam. I took off the let me just turn on the light real quick. I took off the uh, screen so it's easier to get the cable. And down here we got a nice CD drive with my USB hub in the back. Then we got the keyboard, the HyperX Ally Origin 60 keyboard, five dollar garage sale keyboard that I got. My HyperX Pulsefire Core mouse. Then we got the PC itself that sits in here. Although I have to keep this open, otherwise it'll overheat. Nothing there. Then we got my uh, Logitech F310 controller, I think that's what it was. <clears throat> and then up there we got my printer. Oh, and we also got these uh, Logitech speakers in the back that are um, a little bit ass, but they're actually pretty good. But yeah, this is the brand new 2024 setup. Or 2025 setup, God damn it! Look at that beautiful camera quality. Put my hand on it. My hand's on my monitor right now. You can tell which finger that is just from the pixel quality. You can tell exactly what finger that is. Right, let's get down to the game test, all right? Because I've been playing some games on this, and oh my god, it is amazing. Actually, no, I'm going to record this. That was something. Uh, is there any other games I want to check? Nah, I'm done. Well then, thank you guys. <clears throat> so yeah, that is my brand new computer setup thing so yeah it runs better although one more thing that pisses me off a lot is um for those who don't know I have an oculus and uh last time it said something about my graphics card yeah my graphics card does not support VR anyway so yeah other than I need a new graphics card and a new power supply to support that graphics card this PC is this PC is gorgeous it is amazing yeah that's all i have to say about that all right thank you guys for watching um i really hope to start making more videos again soon and uh yeah see you guys in the next one